when you look at the advertising industry, um, every component, every part of the process is really working towards the end goal to show the right creative to the right person, right? To get him to engage, whether it's performance, whether it's um, intention, awareness, uh, but that's the goal. Get the right content in front of the specific person. Uh, DCO allows you to do exactly that. And that's the promise of the internet from the get-go, right? Get the right um, ad to the right person at the right time, okay? DCO, right before the pandemic and during the pandemic, actually exploded. And why is that? Because the complexity is becoming too much, right? Too many channels, too many audiences, too many activations. There's too, too much stuff to do in order to actually make sure that you address the consumer journey. As in consumers, we expect the brands to be everywhere we are with the most relevant content to us. We don't care if they have difficult technical difficulties behind the scenes. DCO solves a lot of that for the brands and their agencies because we allow them to put the right content in front of the user, in front of the consumers, and then eventually analyze their engagement or non-engagement in order to educate them best on what's working, what's not working, and why. So they can build better audiences and they can optimize their media in a much smarter way. So tell us a little bit about DCO and how you guys do it. And is it, you're working with the agencies, do they give you creative, do you come up with your own creative? How does the process work? So there are, there are three ways basically, right? Um, one is a, comp a full self-service. You can utilize the clinch platform, flight control, like end-to-end -end from creating the creative on our tools and then trafficking, putting the strategy, like building the strategy and um, distributing and activating it. Another way is a hybrid. So you can provide the master creative and our teams will help you turn that creative into a dynamic activation. And the third is a fully managed service where you can come to us with a concept um, and a few assets, and we actually build everything for you for, from scratch. So what's the value of um, DCO in terms of performance, and how do you prove that? That's a, that's a good question. Um, and I think in terms of the performance and the outcome, it's everybody in the industry now knows that DCO performs better, right? You do a lot of A-B testing and more complex even testing and optimization, and you get results. Sometimes it's 20x, sometimes uh, it could be around 65 to 70 uh, percent decrease uh, in your CPAs. Uh, but the outcome performance and the numbers are there. You get your ROI. The importance of DCO now is even greater because it allows efficiency in workflow automation on, on the way, on the process to the outcome. Okay, so it saves you time and money. It saves you a lot of um, efficiencies within the process, within all the complexity that we talked about before, and then eventually it also gets you the outcome in terms of ROI. Great. Uh, so listen, one thing that we've been talking about a lot, and it's been a big topic here, has been commerce. Yes. And um, it's, 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 it's a huge industry. Um, you know, how does DCO and commerce work together? I'm sure it's, it's nothing new, Yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of expectations. Tell, talk to us about that. Right, so the origin, you know, DCO in its origin started with commerce, right? The, the whole point was at the, at the beginning to show the right product. Um, and it still is a, a big driver in performance advertising. We believe in clinch that everything now is commerce, right? It's commerce everywhere. Um, and commerce is not necessarily just a product. Product can, uh, commerce can be a service. Commerce can be anything that you want to get the consumer to engage with and, uh, and to do an action in a way. Um, but you look at all the different channels. You look at programmatic, you look at CTV, you look at social, there's commerce everywhere. And for us, it's the ability to take a huge product feed or a huge um, location feed, right, and make that combination of what is the right product offer um, to show that specific user in any given moment on any channel, any format, on any device. Great, great. And, um, you know, tell us about your clients, the kinds of people who engage with Clinch. So our clients vary from 
the Fortune 500 brands um, to the top holding group agencies. Uh, we also have um, direct to consumers. But if you think about it, every, every brand or every client that has multiple products or messages or locations or scale, um, big scale that needs to be divided to multiple channels requires DCO and in um, a platform like ours.